say good morning everyone in YouTube land. Well, it's March 24th <clears throat> and we are getting ready for 10 more miles on this trail to our campsite. Nothing special about the campsite other than it's a campsite. Anyway, how are you guys feeling this morning? With the bridge. Much yeah. better. After 17.5 yeah, yesterday we did 17.5. for water. These guys are like machines. Yeah, with very little water too. All right, so you guys ready? Yeah. Ready to go. It's going up ready to 80 to today. Let's try to get some miles in. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, we will pick it up later. Good morning, guys. I believe it's Thursday, up around nine o'clock. Coming across the last of the desert floor and the windmill farm that we're on. And we're coming up to these mountains that are directly up ahead of us. Behind us, you saw a caterpillar. Ahead of me, you see raven and spider. Uh, today, we're looking to put in roughly about 10.2 miles uh, to our next campground. Uh, which isn't really a campground, it's a tent site. Uh, supposed to be a high in the low 80s today. Uh, this is how you keep track of where you're going. Because you got signs like this. Some of them with bullet holes, as you can see. But you're coming across private land. So, uh, out here, trespassing, not good. Turn around, say hello, Raven. Say hello, Raven. So, as you cross from landowner to landowner, you'll see these gates that are up ahead. Uh, they do have their own wildlife, cows, cattle, whatever. We've only seen cattle out here, uh, but this stops them from crossing over. So it's like a cattle guard. So with that said, the mountains in the background, that's where we're going to. Signing off for now. Say, hey, spider. Hey. All right. Hey, spider. Hey, spider. Hey. Raven, caterpillar. All right, people, as you've seen, we made it across the tail end of the Mojave Desert, yep. uh, which if you look out there in the distance in the mountains, we came out of those mountains, crossed over that nasty terrain for 17.6 miles, and we've now made it to the foothills. Uh, that's what you see in front of us. Uh, today, we got roughly about another five miles to go, uh, but we're at the foothills of, of these uh, mountains here. Uh, which we're going to go about five miles up into them, where we're going to take, set up camp again. Uh, the last couple days, starting out the first day, we did a uh, hike two, two to the Walmart, and then four miles directly uphill. Second day, we did 14.8 miles. Third day, we did 13.7 miles. Yesterday, we did 17.6 miles. And today, by miles, we should be doing 10.2 uh, beautiful day, hot, mild breeze. Uh, other than that, I'll sign off for now. Hey everyone. Well, we uh, got about six miles left to go. No, sorry, like three miles left to go uh, to our campsite. But the sun is so intense here. We're trying to conserve water because there wasn't water between where we started and where we're going to end up at. So we had to conserve water for tonight as well, for cooking and whatnot. And then tomorrow's four mile hike into the next water source. But we came across, came across a Tyler Horse Canyon and tent site. And there seems to be a little trickle of water here. I'll flip the camera around so you could see these puddles. They're just puddles, but they're clean and they're flowing. Here's some of the puddles that uh, we've been drinking from. And uh, boy, this is a blessing from, from God that uh, we got 
coming into this canyon. Free water. It's just a little trickle, but uh, we filled up our bottles and with only uh, three miles left to go, we're doing great with water now. Anyway, the gang's all up there resting by that tree. We're trying to uh, wait out the apex of the sun because that sun is super intense. And you don't want to be out there right around this time. You just get fried. You'll be, you'll get all sunburned and whatnot. So we're waiting it out. We've got to go up that way. That's the trail right up there. Uh, we're going to start climbing up there. You don't want to be doing that in a really hot sun. But in a little while, we'll head out and uh, finish up today's uh, 10 mile hike to the next campsite. Anyway, just wanted to report in. I will sign off for now and pick it up later. All right. During this time on the trail, I started feeling a little apprehensive because we were ending the Mojave Desert and even though water was challenging at times, it was beautiful and warm. The Sierra Mountains of California lay ahead of us on the PCT. And although I know they'll be beautiful, I feel anxious about attempting them because they're, they're going to bring new challenges like more permits, bears, climbing to high elevations, and being far from any town for many, many miles. So I'll have to carry more food. I've been section hiking the desert since 2017. I've learned so much about myself, my strengths, my weaknesses, and the compassion I give and receive from others. The desert section taught me that the PCT is more than just a trail. It's a community, literally. You're never alone on the PCT. However, like the trail, I have to continue because, as John Muir said, quote, we are in the mountains and the mountains are in us. Therefore, to the mountains we will go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna pick up some video here right now. Uh, if you can see those windmills uh, out there in the far distance, it's actually what we came across. And we've been making our way around in these foothills. Uh, 
making our way around uh, to Summit and then uh, head down towards our campground. It took about a two and a half, three hour hiatus to get out of the sun uh, because the sun is there's, as you can see, there's not a single cloud in the sky. So we wanted to beat the uh, apex of the sun and uh, kind of give our bodies a rest. We were actually able to find a small little creek bed uh, that we were able to get some water out of. Uh, so we actually all rehydrated, had a meal, and resupplied on water. Uh, so take water where you can get water. So Lord provides, the trail provides. If you're willing to endure. Signing off for now. Nice job. We're on the tail end of our 10.2 uh, mile hike for the day. Uh, taking some photo ops. Less than a mile to go. Less than a mile to go. You can kind of see the terrain that we just came through. The sun is not as hot as it was before. Uh, you can see the windmill farms down below. We actually came through a good portion of those today. We came across the whole valley. The whole valley. It's called Antelope Valley. It is, a, it is an amazing view up here though. To let the sun go down and make it not so intense for the last uh, part of the hike. We got a nice breeze, cool down. Oh, yeah. The sun's not so intense. We got plenty of water, feeling good, hiking good. Matter of fact, we're just good. We're just good. What he says. Yeah, what he says. All right, setting off for now. Hey, and we're back. Well, we uh, stopped short of our goal by about four miles. And no, rather, one mile. Yeah, nine tenths of a mile. And uh, decided to camp here on top of a mountain. It was beautiful. The sun was going down right over that mountain. We wanted to see the sunset. And uh, this is our campsite here overlooking this this beautiful overlook we're like right on top of a plateau of a mountain and down there way back there is the antelope valley uh that we crossed yesterday which is pretty cool and so we figured we'd stop here watch the sunset have some dinner and just rest for the rest of the day what's left of the day gonna be a beautiful sunset we're literally on top of a mountain looking over the Antelope Valley that we crossed, like I said, two days ago. And walking back this way, I'm walking towards the edge of the uh, plateau. You can see down below, we've got the, uh, we've got the windmills. It's 
spinning around. What an awesome view that is. We crossed like the uh, the valley way over there, came this way a little bit, about maybe 10 miles this way, and then we started heading towards those windmills. We actually walked through that windmill farm to get here to, to uh, climb over these hills right here. And then we finally came up here to this campsite. It was a beautiful day, but boy, that sun got hot today. It was major, major hot. Felt it on my neck. So we made it great here. We made a good, uh, beautiful campsite. We got two more days on the trail and then uh, that'll complete this this section of our section hike um, that'll complete our adventure in this section hike. Sun is about to go down, so I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see our campsite. Hey everyone, we are uh, getting ready for bed and even though it looks like it's daylight here, according to the camera, it looks like it's daylight, but it's it's getting pretty dark out here. Here's uh, the Antelope Valley down there and you can see the, uh, the windmills are all blinking red lights. And then there's a city way over there, way over there. Uh, I think that's Palmdale, California. Sun's gone down and right away you see the change in temperature. You feel it right away. <clears throat> the desert does not keep its heat. It loses its heat right away. As soon as the sun went down, you could feel it right away. It's uh, started getting real cool. Now it's getting more chillier. So we're looking for a beautiful night. Hopefully we get a whole sky full of stars i see one already coming out up there but uh i'll flip the camera on so you can see the landscape here and our campsite so yeah even though it looks daylight it's actually getting pretty dark out here And that's the Antelope Valley down there with the uh, windmills. It's a beautiful night, nice and quiet, no wind. Sun already went down. I will end it here for now and I'll see if I can get some video recording of these stars. This camera can pick up these, uh, can pick up the night sky pretty nice. So take some night sky pictures. Anyway, we're going to get, uh, after that, we're going to get to bed and we'll call it a night. Uh, and we'll pick it up back in the morning. Tomorrow is Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, tomorrow is Friday, March 25th. All right. Good night, all. It was a great day today. We're looking for another one tomorrow. All right. Good night.